Uh, welcome to our uh, talk today by Dr. Ibrahim uh, Aladsani. And uh, uh, what uh, I will do is a quick uh, uh, background of ICK, and then uh, I will do a quick introduction of our Sheikh, and then I will hand the mic uh, over uh, to the Sheikh. So uh, again, welcome to our talk today. And uh, uh, just a quick reminder about the ICK, the Islamic Center of Kuwait. Uh, we, uh, uh, we are a non not-for-profit organization, and we do uh, several activities like the one today uh, for the Muslim community here in Kuwait. Uh, there are about uh, 25 nationalities that would come to the two mosques that uh, ICK governs. One is the Masjid al-Uthman uh, in Kuwait City, and the second one is uh, Masjid al-Mutawwa in Abu Fatera. And uh, what we do is uh, we have the uh, Friday sermons and uh, some other uh, activities, including the Saturday youth group, we also have the Thursday halakas and several other activities uh, for the community. So um, a quick introduction to our Sheikh. Dr. Ibrahim Malatsani is the popular khatib in English for ICK. Uh, he has been uh, uh, with us uh, for, for, uh, for a while now. Dr. Ibrahim uh, earned uh, his PhD in petroleum engineering from USA. He's uh, serving uh, government of Kuwait as associate professor of petroleum engineering in College of Technological Studies. Dr. Sani is in the field of Dawa since he was a student and has given his services to Islamic Presentation Committee, IPC, Najat Charity Society, and is presently general manager of AWARE Center, which stands for Advocates for Western and Arab Relations. Without further ado, I would like to hand it over uh, to the Sheikh. Okay, inshallah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala rabbi shrah li sadri wa yishtad li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Although we, we are not meeting in, in, in person, but uh, we are meeting virtually uh, alhamdulillah, uh, we are in, 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 in a situation uh, that we have not experienced before. Uh, there are some blessings that we just don't pay attention to. We are taking it for granted, like going to the masjid going for Friday prayer, going for the daily, daily prayers. And, and we used to look at it as it is an obligation that we need to do. Now, and we don't, we don't look at it as a blessing. Now it's been taken from us. And we, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to, to bless us back with going to the masjid, uh, a blessing that in, in the past, we can go out from our houses anytime we want. Now there is a, a restriction uh, placed on us. Those blessings that we took for granted, now it's time to look at it from a different uh, uh, perspective and, and, and thank Allah Azza wa Jal for all the blessings. The title which the brothers have, have picked and they picked a, a very interesting title in a very interesting timing. Ramadan is on the doors a few days from now, and we are living in, in a crisis. Uh, Ramadan is the month of fasting, the month of generosity, and we are in a status where there are lots of people who are in need. Now, before we get into the topic of, of generosity, we need to uh, understand a few things. Number one, we need to, to understand that generosity, or it's, it's Al-Kareem, Al-Jawad, is among the beautiful names and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal. And it is the character of the Prophet ﷺ. And it is the character of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. We need to look into those examples 
because because these are the models uh, uh, for us, the companions, and, and the Prophet sallam, We need to follow his sunnah, and we need also to follow the the orders of our Creator, Allah Azza wa Jalla. The Prophet sallam, said in a hadith, which which you know it's 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 the foundation of islam it is the foundation of islam the prophet sallallahu said inma bu'ithtu li'utammima makarim al-akhlaq i was sent as a messenger to complete the good manners and generosity is among the top characters of of the good manners so 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 having a good manners it is it is act of worship and the top of those manners are generosity now let's start with with allah azza wa jal subhanahu wa ta'ala the one the one who who who, who created us and the one who gave us whatever we want, whether we have asked for it or did not ask for it. And this is the distinction, that how we can distinguish uh, b- between the, 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 the two words, Karim, Jawad. The, the Arabic language is, is a rich language and each, each word has a different meaning. Now, now in English, there is the only term which is generosity. But in Arabic, there is the al-karim and there is al-jawad. And those terms are in the Quran, and those terms are the names of Allah Azza wa Jal. So what is the difference between jawad and karim? Jawad meaning that he would give without asking. Allah Azza wa Jal give, gave us lots and lots and lots of blessings and grace from him subhanahu wa ta'ala without asking. Without us asking him. So this is the jawad. Yajud. Give without asking. al Karim, he would give when you ask. And give in, 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 in a generous way. So when you ask Allah Azza wa Jal, you raise your hand for Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal does not and would not return you without anything. This is how generous he is. He is the most generous. The, the utmost generosity is from Allah Azza wa Jal. He gave us everything. Blessings that we don't we take it for granted the the, the 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 sunlight the night the air that we breathe all of those we take for granted we don't look at them as a blessings from allah azza wa jal you know we could take the, the, the breath now and then we will not be able to get it out without the permission from allah azza wa jal so this is a blessing, and Allah Azza wa Jal is the most, most generous. If one of us, one would come and ask us for a favor, and we, we give that favor, and then he asks again, and then he asks for the third time, you know, we get fed up. And we might, we might say that, you know, you have asked too much. Allah Azza wa Jal is the opposite. Allah Azza wa Jal wants from us to ask and keep on asking day and night, 24 hours. His doors are open for us. Who can do something like that except Allah Azza wa Jal? Allah Azza wa Jal descends subhanahu wa ta'ala every night at the third part of the night. And he is waiting for us and saying, is there someone who is asking for forgiveness so I will forgive him? Is there someone who has something that he needs and he has a dua so I will accept that dua? And Allah Azza wa will say that until the Fajr time would come and that is done every day. 
Allah Azza wa Jal, you do the good deed, Allah Azza wa Jal count it for you ten times. And in situation up to seven hundred times. And you do a bad deed, he will count it only one. And if you ask for forgiveness, it will be wiped. Who would do something like that? No one. The door of optionary deeds, whether it's a prayer, fasting, it's open. Do whatever you want, and it is counted. Now, even if, if you work with the most generous man, and, and you tell, you know, I, I want overtime. Give me, uh, I, I want six hours, ten hours. Uh, they will not give you. They will not. They will give you for a limited time, an hour, two. Allah Azza wa Jal is giving us all of that. So that shows how generous Allah Azza wa Jal is with us. Allah Azza wa Jal is generous with us from the moment we came to this life, during this life, at the moment when we are departing from this life, toward the hereafter until we meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah. Now coming to the Prophet sallallahu Allah azza wa jal said in the Quran about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam innaka la'ala khuluqin azim you have great manners great characters the, the manners of the Prophet وسلم, he was the most generous. He never said no, except if it is something against the orders of Allah Azza wa Jal. Whenever he was asked for anything he would give, he said in one hadith to, to Abu Dhar, he said uh, to him, if you know, if I would have gold with me, an equivalent to the mountain of Uhud, I would not feel comfortable to keep it more than three days, except just distributing it for the sake of Allah Azza wa And I will keep only if I have a debt that I need to pay. One time, a lady came to the Prophet Wasallam with a Burda dress. And the Prophet Sallallahu needed that dress. This is to show you how, how, how difficult of a time the, the, the Prophet Sallallahu is to have. And she made that Burda for the Prophet Sallallahu It was nice. So, so the lady came and gave it as a gift to the Prophet Sallallahu and the Prophet Sallallahu took it as a gift and he took it because he needed it. Then one of the companion, he said to the Prophet Sallallahu Oh Prophet of Allah, this Burda is so beautiful. You mind giving it to me? The Prophet Sallallahu immediately went inside his home and he took it off and he put something else. Then he came and he gave it to that companion. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he went inside, the companions said to that man, you know, What's wrong with you? The Prophet ﷺ needed that burda. He wanted it. Why? Why you have asked him that? And you know he wouldn't say no. He said, I wanted it to have the blessings of that burda because the Prophet ﷺ put it on his body. And I'm hoping that this would be my kafan. It is not because I wanted that burda. I just wanted the blessings of that burda. A man came to the Prophet ﷺ, one of the Arab, one of the Bedouins. And, and it seems that he was among the leaders of his tribe. And he came to the Prophet ﷺ and he said to him, Prophet of Allah, give me something. I, 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 I'm in need. Give me. So the Prophet ﷺ told him, do you see those ghosts, the life, livestock over there? a huge amount between two mountains, a valley that is full of goats. And he said, the Prophet ﷺ said to that man, 
all of that is yours. The man said, are, are you joking with me? He said, no, I'm not joking with you. Go, take it. And he went and he took it. And he went to his tribe and he said to them, go and embrace Islam. Muhammad is giving in a way that he is not fearing poverty. Go. It, 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 it's not like the Prophet ﷺ wanted to take advantage of him or he wanted to show him something. No. He, he was in need. Go, take it. And the Prophet ﷺ, his aim was to save them from hellfire, to bring them to Islam. And when this man saw that, saw the generosity of the Prophet ﷺ, he was overwhelmed with that. So he embraced Islam and his tribe, all of them embraced Islam. Now, we always think that generosity is only giving from our wealth or it is only limited to those who are rich. No, no. It has nothing to do or from being wealthy or from being unwealthy. As a matter of fact, the hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Rubba dirham, it, it could be one dirham, would exceed 1,000. Because maybe one would have millions and would give 1,000, which is nothing compared to what he has. And one would have only two dirhams, and he would give one, so he gave half of his wealth. So it has nothing to do with being wealthy or unwealthy. To take an example from the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, and this to show uh, the distinguish whether it is wealthy or non-wealthy, a man came visiting the Prophet ﷺ, uh, to know more about Islam. And, and when he came to the Prophet ﷺ and told him that he is coming from that tribe which is far away and he is visiting them, so he is a guest. And the host must take the guest. So the Prophet ﷺ, he is the guest of the Prophet ﷺ. So the Prophet Sallallahu sent to his wife to prepare, to prepare the food for that guest. So he sent one, one of the companions, messenger. He went to the first house. You know, the, the Prophet Sallallahu he has a guest, uh, kindly prepare the food for him. And the answer came, we have nothing. There is nothing. We are only, we, all what we have is water. He went to the second house, the third house, the fourth house, the fifth, the, all of them, and they would answer with the same answer. There is nothing in the house that we have to prepare as food for the guests. We have nothing. All what we have is water. The, the, the man was shocked. I mean, this is, these are the houses of the Prophet He is the Prophet. There is nothing for them to eat. So he went back to the Prophet ﷺ and he said to him, O oh, Prophet of Allah, you know, I went to your houses and, and there is nothing, there is no food. And the guest is there, he is waiting. So the Prophet ﷺ said to his companions, who would host my guest? Now this is the guest of the Prophet ﷺ. Who would host my guest? Immediately, one of the companions, he said, I, I would do that. I will host him, Prophet of Allah. See, the companions, they were competing and conducting the good deeds. There is a competition between them. Who would grab it first? So the moment the Prophet uttered the question, immediately there is one of the companions who was prepared 
and grab that opportunity without thinking now, do I have food at the house? Is there anything in the house? That's not important. The important is to take that opportunity. And he took the man and he went to his home and he said to his wife, prepare the dinner and the food for our guest. So the wife said to him, we have nothing. There is nothing in the house except this small amount of food that I have prepared for your children. So the companion, he said, take the children, try to put them to sleep, let them sleep. Uh, talk them out, tell them a story, do whatever you want, just, just let them go to sleep without having dinner. And prepare that food for our guest. So the, 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 the lady uh, the, took the children back and she tried to make them sleep and then they, they, obviously they went to sleep. And she took the food, gave it to him and he turned the candle, the light, he turned it off. So the host will not see that, 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 that they are not eating because the food is not enough. It's barely enough for one. So the, the, the host ate from the food and they pretended that they are eating until the host uh, finished the food and went to sleep. And the companion in the morning, he took him back to the Prophet wasallam. And the Prophet wasallam said to him, Allah Azza wa Jal was amazed with your action. And the Quran, a verse was revealed. عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا They would give even over themselves, even they are in need. This to show the example of generosity with the Prophet, with the Prophet وسلم, and, and his companions. Now, as I said, some might think that, you know, uh, being generous is is only by spending. You know, uh, you, you spend money and you spend your wealth. You give those that need. This be, being you, you are generous. No, it's it's a bigger term. Generosity. You would give what you have for those who are in need. It could be money. It could be time, it could be knowledge, it could be a help, support, uh, it could be a smile, it could be a visit, it, 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 it could be forgiving someone that, that committed uh, uh, something bad against you and, and you, 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 you would forgive him. All of that would be and come under the, the concept of, of generosity. Look at the Prophet وسلم, and, and just see what the people of Quraysh have done to him and to, to uh, his companions. He was expelled, driven out of Mecca. His companions, his uncle, uh, uh, were killed. Uh, some of his companions were tortured. They took uh, all of, of their wealth. Uh, you name it. When the Prophet وسلم, came in Fath Makkah and surrounded Mecca, and all the people of Quraysh he gathered them, and he said to them, What do you think? I am going to do with you. The answer came came very clear. Ibn Am Karim, Ibn Karim, you are a generous cousin, and you are a descendant from those who are generous. And the Prophet ﷺ said to them, Idhabu, فأنتم الطلقاء. Go, I have forgiven you. This is an act of generosity. We have, we have to redefine 
the concept of generosity. Take, for example, the time. Now, alhamdulillah, we are, you know, I wouldn't say trapped in our homes, but this is a blessing. From 5 p.m., nobody can go out. So we are at home. We are with our spouses. We are with our children. So it's a time that, 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 that you can give those who are most in need for your time, your spouse, your children, your brothers, your friends, that now you give them the time. Talk with them. Put the smile on their faces. Chat with them. Teach them. Listen to them. Uh, 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 enjoy your time with them. And when you give that time, put it in your intention that you are doing it for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. So this is an act of generosity. You gave, you gave part of your time for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, and you would be rewarded. Now we are in a very difficult time, and there are brothers to us and sisters to us who, who either have lost their jobs or have don't have even the money to, to, to buy uh, the uh, necessary needs, or those who are now trapped in, in some of the areas that are surrounded that they cannot go out or, or, or do anything. And, and they are in need. And, and that's the time that we can give and support. You know, it's, 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 it's good even if you, if you scroll with your mobile, go, go over the names that you have. And you would find, you would find one or two, oh my God, you know, that person, I, I think, you know, he is in, in, in difficulties or, you know, I, I think I've heard that he was uh, laid off from his job or something. And you give him a call and you just ask about him. You know, hi, how are you? How, how are you doing? How are you? you know, if there is any need, um, you know, don't hesitate. Uh, we are brothers. I can help you. I can support you, whatever you need. Uh, just don't hesitate. Even if he did not ask, what you have said is an act of generosity. And, 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 and it will give him comfort that, you know, that uh, there, are, there are people who, who, who are with me. There are people who are supporting me. Let's 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 do that. You know, uh, let's let's join hand together. You know, the, the, the brothers at, at the Islamic Center, Alhamdulillah, have have conducted a, a very wonderful project where they have uh, collected the the uh, the uh, the food items and they have distributed it. Uh, for those who are in need and and inshallah this this project will continue especially now ramadan ramadan is is, is coming so so i can i can be generous if i have money i will donate if i have time i will donate if if they are needing help and support i can do i have no money and but and I have no time, but I have a truck. I can give you my truck, load what you need to load, and go. So so we join hand together, uh, see what we can do. Uh, I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have truck. I don't have anything. But I know people who are in need, and you know, come and and tell us about those who are in need because because we cannot reach them but you know them and you have connected us with them you are partner with us in this good deeds so let's join hands together and and let us let us come you know what what i would really love and, and you know I'm, I'm with you in that is is in this lecture yes we have listened to the lecture we have uh, got to know what is the difference between kareem and jawad yes we heard an examples 
of, of the generosity of the Prophet وسلم, his companions. Uh, yes, it is a good deed. It's, it's a good manner. Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the road to, to the Jannah. Yes, it's, uh, yes, I need to give time to my, my family. Yes. Now, yes, but let us do something, you know, visible. Let's join hand and, and join hand in a project. If there is a project that is coming, let us participate. If we can give money, we can give money. If we can give time, we can give time. If, if we can uh, give help and support, we can give help and support. If we know those who are in need, but we cannot reach them, we give the names. So we can connect all the dots to come up with a project even if it was a small even if it was a small even if we could help 10 families it's better than helping none if we can help more it will be more beneficial and you know if we have the good intention you i mean i mean really we put we put a good intention oh allah you know, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm going to do this for, for your sake. I, I'm not looking for any reward from this dunya. I am, I am looking only for the reward from you. And we have the good intention and we do it. By Allah, we don't know. We just don't know. It could be this act that will take us to Jannah. The hadith, a prostitute, a prostitute. So a dog who was, was thirsty. So she just took off her shoes, fill it with water and gave it to the dog who was thirsty. The dog drank from that water. The dog went and she left and she was forgiven from that act only. We just don't know which act. We don't know if our prayers will lead us. We don't know, we don't know. We don't know if it is our fasting. We, that we just don't know. But when we put our effort and have a sincere, sincere intention, that, you know, we, I'm doing it for the sake of Allah. No, I don't care who would see me and who would not see me. I don't care who would talk about me or who would not talk about me. I just don't care. I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention only for the one who is above me, the one who created me. Oh, Allah, I'm doing this for you, only for you. Maybe it would be that act that will open doors for us we never thought it could be open you know, someone who is looking for a job someone who 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 wants his business to be successful someone who is having difficulties with his family so whatever it could be this action of generosity with sincere intention the act that would open the door for you. We just don't know. So brothers and sisters in Islam, let us first think and always think about the blessings that we have, but we are taking it by default. Nowadays, the masjids or going out in free, as, as an example is being taken. It's, it's not here anymore we don't have the freedom to leave our houses anytime no we don't have before we used to have it and that is a blessing we, we just never thought about it going to the messages it was it was a blessing now it's not there anymore inshallah it will come in the future so let us rethink about those blessings and be thankful to Allah Azza wa Jal, the most generous, who is so generous with us. And let us follow the steps of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions on 
being generous. And generosity is not limited to money. It is wide open. It is your wealth, your knowledge, your time, your manners, your forgiveness, your smile, your greeting, your dua to us. You know, you, 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 you make a dua every day. And then in the, uh, uh, the dua say, oh Allah, Allah maghfir al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimat. So you have included us with you. And that is out of your generosity. So, so, so there is, the generosity is, is, is a, a, a huge concept. And it is one of the most beautiful concepts. The concept that is leading to the forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Jal. And the forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Jal is leading us to the freedom from the hellfire. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us to be more generous and to enable us to have the clear and pure intention for doing the action and the good deeds only for his sake and his sake only. And inshallah, Azza wa Jal, we will be rewarded for that. And inshallah, by the will of Allah Azza wa Jal, this crisis and this pandemic will disappear, disappear by, by his will, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we go back to our normal lives. Uh, we go back to the masjid, to the daily prayers. We go back to the Jum'ah prayer. We enjoy the taraweeh. We enjoy the tahajjud. And we enjoy our time with, with, with our families our, and our friends and uh, protect us uh, in, in, in this life uh, to, to, to be steadfast on, on the right path, the, the, the path of the as-sirat al-mustaqim, the path of, of the Prophet وسلم, and, and his companions. And inshallah, we will meet in, in the future, uh, not virtually, but uh, personally. Oh, jazakum Allahu khairan. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh, for your time. And Jazakallah khair for all the good ideas that you have given it to us on being generous during these times. Inshallah, we will give more. We will design and implement new projects, as you said. And Inshallah, our reward is from Allah. Uh, with that, I open it to question and answers. And just like we have uh, during every talk, uh, please one question per person and uh, try to limit your question to the topic. Uh, generosity at these times. Uh, so with that, uh, let's move on to Q&A. Uh, wh whoever wants to ask a question, as you know, if you're on smartphone, you can just touch your screen. You will see the Q&A chat box. You can type your question there. Uh, if you are on a computer, just uh, uh, move your mouse on the screen. You will see Q&A at the bottom. Just uh, type your Q&A in the Q&A chat box. We have uh, one question uh, waiting. Uh, let's start with that, Sheikh. The question is, how can I help if I don't have enough money? MashaAllah. MashaAllah. You don't have, you don't need to have money. You don't need to have money. You can give from your time. You can give uh, 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 from your help. You know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in one of the hadith, he was uh, asking the Sahaba, Tasaddaqu, give for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, give. Uh, and and the, what if he doesn't have this? He give this. And they kept going on. And then, and then Tasaddaqu, even with, with one, one date. So one of the companions said, what if I don't have one date? Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, tamra half a date and then said what if i don't have half a date so so that that companion he he, he is doing us a favor because <coughs> he is asking questions on our behalf what if i don't have then with a good word kalima tayyiba so yes there are there are those whom allah have chosen that that uh, 
don't have enough money to, to give uh, a, and donate. Yes, you can give. You can give your time. Now, for example, you have a project and we need, we need, we need people to, to put the food in the bags. And you come and you help us with putting the, 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 the item of the food in the bags or the boxes. Then you have donated your time for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is an act of generosity and top act of generosity. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Uh, the next question is that, uh, uh, Sheikh, how to ensure ikhlas in our intentions and keep the sincerity throughout the action? That is a very good question, and that is a very tough question. In Al -Al -Al Imam Ibn Thawri, one of the greatest scholars, he said, there is nothing that is more difficult on me than making my intention pure and clear. It is, it is very difficult and it is very easy. You see, number one, when you have a good intention, who would come to you and try to change that, that intention? The one who don't like you? and the one who hate you, and he is Iblis. There is a hatred between us and him. So he would come and try to whisper. Yes, you are doing it, you know, to show off. Yes, you would see so and so. You need to always keep it in your mind, you know, I'm doing it for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. Even if you get such an ideas, take them away. Even, even you know, if, 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 uh, you, you, you donated for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, and then Iblis will come to you, ah, oh, you donated for the sake of Allah so, so people can see you. This is, this is in your mind. He is whispering in your mind. So to treat that, you tell him, yes, yes, you know, I'm doing it to show off. And yes, you know, 10 people saw me. And, and, and next time I'm going to make 20 people would see me. So I would be more showing off to them. So it's, it's just, you know, you are pushing him away. Always have the good intention and seek it from Allah Azza wa Jal and seek the help. Oh Allah, I am doing it for your sake. And I am seeking your help to make me steadfast on that intention and do it. Don't hesitate. Iblis will come and make you hesitate and try to shake that intention. Once you have the good intention, let the action happen and just don't worry about it. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. The next question is that, uh, uh, Sheikh, can you elaborate on the benefits of giving water as sadaqah? Yes, there is a hadith that afwal sadaqah suqya al The best of sadaqah is the suqya, giving the water. And, and, you know, uh, water is life. And uh, uh, giving water for those who are in need is one of, of the, the best sadaqah. Uh, one of, of the, the well-known uh, merchants uh, in, in the past, he was, he was very sick. And, and they, they tried to treat him and find a treatment for him. They couldn't find until one of, of, of uh, scholars came to him and he said to him, dig a well. And, and, and he digged a well in a place that there are people who, who needed that water. And subhanAllah, he was cured by, by the well of Allah Azza wa Jal. So giving water is, is, is one of the best sadaqah. And, and, and if you want it to be that best of the best is you, giving, you, you give it for those who are in need, whether they are here in Kuwait or, or outside of Kuwait, but uh, giving uh, the the uh, the al ma the the uh, giving the water is one of the best best charities. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. The next question is that uh, uh, some of my friends they have their own house in my country, but they also are asking for money. Should I help them if they have their own house? Uh, he, is not, uh, he has not written uh, more than this, but I think what he means is that, that uh, they own the house, but they uh, do not have 
uh, resources, maybe they are poor. So can I help them? Okay, uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, there, there are necessities in this life and, and accommodation is on top of that. So if someone who doesn't have an accommodation, then, then, then we cannot, we just cannot. We, we, we will be considered as sinners if we don't find for them shelter. Now, when, when we, we are done with that, that they, they do have the shelter, maybe they don't have enough money to buy food. Maybe they don't have enough money to buy other necessity, uh, uh, paying their electricity or, 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 or going out to buy, buy some, some, some things. You know, it's, it's, it's a very difficult feeling when you are in need and you go to a place and you see everybody is able, is being able to buy and you are not. You imagine that you can go to the supermarket and you look at the items, but your wallet is empty. Or maybe all what you can buy for your family is, is a, a pack of bread. And you see the others are carrying. So, so this is a very difficult feeling. We cannot let them, let them have that feeling. We, we give them, and, and, and when we give, we are giving for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, number one. Then we are giving to protect ourselves, number two. So their side is, is not an issue. Their side is not an issue. The issue is me. Now, if they are wealthy, if they have money, if they have everything, then yes, you might reconsider uh, giving them or not uh, giving them. But they have only, only the accommodation and the shelter we, we don't know what, what is their situation. Maybe they are in need. So, so you give them with the good intention and Allah Azza wa will bless you. You give, <coughs> Allah will give you more. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. This is a, a question uh, from a sister. Praying for someone or making dua to someone, is it also act of generosity, especially for my family, and when they are not Muslims yet, does reward of Allah is the same for Muslims and non-Muslims? Okay. Uh, 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 at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are uh, people who came who were in need and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked his companions to donate and they gave. Everyone gave whatever he can whatever he can, those who, who brought money, those who brought food, those who, whatever they can. One man, he went back home. As he went to bed, he said, Oh Allah, the Prophet ﷺ asked for donations and everybody gave and I don't have anything to give, anything to give. So, oh Allah, I am forgiving whoever committed any misjust against me or whoever backbite me or what, whatever he said, anything ill about me, I have forgiven him. The next day, the Prophet ﷺ called him. He said, what have you done yesterday? Ah, I didn't do anything. No, no, no. Before you go to bed, what did you do? What did you say? So he was amazed. He said, oh, Prophet Allah, I said only that, I, you know, I have forgiven all those who have committed uh, uh, bad sin or, or said something ill about me. And the Prophet, uh, the, uh, the Prophet Allah said, said to him, Allah Azza wa Jal has, subhanahu wa ta'ala, accepted your sadaqah. So his dua, asking for, uh, that he is forgiving them, was accepted. Not only that, it was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu to tell that person, yes, I don't have money. I don't have anything to give. I make dua. Now, they are not Muslims, for example. Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu, 
he went to the Prophet Sallallahu he said, Oh Allah, O oh Prophet of Allah, ask Allah Azza wa Jal that Allah Azza wa Jal will guide my mother for Islam. And she wasn't Muslim. But the, he asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to make dua. So making the dua for those who are not Muslims in your family is an act of generosity, an act of, 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 of a good manner. And on top of that is when you make the dua for your family that, that are Muslims or you are your, your, your relatives. Yes, it is an act of generosity and it is a sadaqa. Jazakallah khair. Next question is, will someone be rewarded who started his deed with good intentions, but along the way, shaitan influenced him? Yes, now, uh, as I said, when you have the good intention at the beginning, the shaitan will not leave you. He will not leave you. He will keep on fighting you. And he will try to change your intention. He might win at the beginning. So if he win at the beginning, defeat him. Immediately change, change that intention. <coughs> For example, <coughs> You, you do a good deed, and then you feel good about yourself. Oh, you know, I have done so and so. And this is ujub. That's not good. So, so you would think, oh, my God, I have, I have ruined my, 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 my deed. Ask for forgiveness and, and immediately change it. Change it. So if, if you have a good intention and it has been affected a little bit on the way, immediately defeat that that uh, that shaitan and change your intention for the good and inshallah by the will of allah it will be accepted next question is nowadays in kuwait there are many people distributing food packages and there are many people who keep on asking the list never ends how can we make sure that the people who need are genuine or are in need Okay, <clears throat> let, me, let me elaborate on that question. Now, for example, let's say that we at the ICK decide to do a project to donate food for those who are in need. In a similar sitting, an organization, let's say like, like for example, a Najat Society, uh, charitable organization they are conducting also a, a, a campaign to donate uh, boxes of food or whatever to them they are obligated to check because because they are entrusted with the money and uh, uh, they are under the, 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 the guidance of the Ministry of, of, of uh, Social Affairs. So they are obligated to check and to make sure that that person is really in need and that person is not a person who is taking food from here and there and there. That's for them. For us, what we are doing is, is only doing an act of goodness, an act of generosity. All what we need to do is to have at least the, 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 uh, a good percentage of the, uh, that, that, that person, yes, in need. You know, we, we don't have to dig and, and check or give us your civil ID, uh, uh, what is your salary, give us uh, that paper, that, no, 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 no. For us is, is, is enough to know that, you know, that person is, is in need. Now, if, if he is lying, then, that, then that's on him, not on us. What, what we have done is we did our part. We looked for someone who was in need, we found that person, Based on our simple checking, he was in need, we gave that person. This is our part that is done. Now, Iblis will come. And Iblis will come and tell us, you know, how do you know that that person is in need? Maybe that person is going to sell those food items. You know, 
instead of giving him, you know, he's in Kuwait, he can find, he can find food and in, in anywhere. You should give that money for those who are outside of Kuwait, who are really in need. So his aim is to drive you away from that action now. Uh, he will tell you, okay, give for those who are outside. Now, now when the time comes to give for those who are outside, he would come back again to deal with you in that matter. So no need to, to overburn ourselves of, of over-checking that that person really in need or they are not uh, really in need. We just need to have a, a good uh, percentage that yes, that person is, is, is in need and then we give and we're giving for the sake of Allah to help others and Allah Azza wa Jal will reward us for our intention. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. The next question is, can you please give some examples of giving our time as charity? Okay. <clears throat> Uh, uh, I said in the beginning. Now, now you have you have the time, and you need to donate that time for those who are in need. And the most people who are in need for your time to 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 donate that time for them is those who are attached to you, your parents. Now, if you have, your, if you have, if, if if your parents are alive, they they need your time, and you should give them your time. And when you visit them, or call them, or talk to them, to put a smile on their faces, this is the birr, and this is the time. You know, uh, I I go out with my friends, or I go out, go go to visit my parents, just to, just to please them, giving time to your parents giving time to your spouses, giving, giving time uh, to, to, to your children, uh, then, and, and go over giving time to your brothers, giving time to your friends who are in need, giving time to your community. So, 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 so you put it in the priorities. You, you prioritize it. Who is more in need for my time and that I should give time? You give time for yourself, for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal for conducting ibadah, worship, you give time for your parents, you give time for your spouse, you give time for your children, your brothers, and so on. So you, you give them a time. Now, the time that you give them is to help them, to please them, to teach them, to give them knowledge, to help, all sorts of, of examples. This is an example of giving the time and donating the time for those who who need your time. And, and especially, dear brothers and sisters, especially if, if you have an elderly parents, you, you know, you should, you should give all the time to, to them because they are in need and they are the, the open doors of Jannah to you now. Once they are gone, that door is closed. So if you are blessed, blessed with a with couple of doors, mother and father use it try to benefit from it if you have one door god be with you try to benefit with it if you don't have make dua for them and allah azza wa jal will reward you for that inshallah jazakallah khair sheikh we have reached our time we have three more questions pending would you like to continue or should we end the talk now do we have time for yeah 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 we have time for maghrib Okay, all right. So uh, the next question is that, uh, uh, can you please uh, uh, enlighten us about doing good deeds and then later showing off about it on social media? He has written further that nowadays in Kuwait, there are organizations that are distributing food kits and then they are displaying their pictures on social media. Yes, yes. Now, if it is an act of an individual, like I go, uh, for example, to an area and uh, I, I knock on the door and give the food and I have someone who is uh, filming me, uh, like, Assalamu alaikum, here is a gift from uh, Brahim Atsani, thank you. And I, I, and I put on the social media uh, showing me 
that I am donating and giving for the sake of Allah or I'm helping the, here and there, uh, absolutely I'm not going to get any reward whatsoever from that. And I might be punished even for that in the hereafter. Now, going for the organizations. <clears throat> the organizations are under a scrutiny, meaning if they don't collect money, people would say, look, people are in need and those organizations are not collecting money for them. And when they collect money, and donate it, they would say, look, they have collected the money and we don't know what they have done with that money. Maybe they have used it. So to protect their action and to protect uh, the integrity of, of, of what they are doing, they are obligated to film it and to, to, to show it and to have uh, their, their uh, logo whatsoever. So, and to send it in the social media. So, so for example, if I donated for the, the Red Crescent or donated for Ar Rahma or Al Najat, and, and I saw the, the, the campaign that they are doing and I saw the logo of that organization, so I will feel comfortable, you know, that money has gone to those who are in need. Now, <clears throat> Uh, the, 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 the bottom line of that, if you are doing it to show off, you are not going to be rewarded. If you are doing it to protect yourself or to show the in integrity of your action, inshallah, you were not, you're not going to be considered as, uh, that action will not be considered as, as a riya. Uh, 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 and the, the bottom line of that is the intention. It depends on the, the intention. Jazakallah khair. The next question is that for Muslims living in the Western countries, how can they be generous with their money and time if they don't see needy Muslims around them? Uh, now, the, 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 there are those who are needy Muslims uh, uh, with them. Uh, they, there are organizations uh, that are helping those who are in need in, in, in the West, in, in the US, Canada, and Europe, they can donate to those, those organizations. And if, 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 if they want, they can send their money to those who are in need in, in our area, uh, whether in, in Asia or, or Africa, whatever. So, so if people who are in the West uh, you know, uh, it's, it's not like uh, uh, in the past now, uh, masjids are all over, Islamic centers are all over, uh, they, they are uh, uh, collecting the, the sadaqah, they are collecting the zakat, uh, there are also well-known charitable organizations that uh, people are donating and, and uh, taking it uh, uh, from their taxes as, as deductibles. So people in the West, uh, Muslims who are in the West, uh, they have a great opportunity to, to, to donate and, and uh, to benefit from. Jazakallah Khashif, we will take one last question. This says okay. that in this difficult time, the whole world is under the uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. While asking for dua, uh, is it okay to ask for the entire humanity instead of only asking for Muslims? Yes, of course, of course, we, 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 should, we, should, uh, uh, we should ask the, 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 the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when, when he was driven out from a ta'if, uh, he said, Allahumma gfir li qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun. Oh Allah, forgive my people for, for they don't know. They were not Muslims. They were not Muslims. So, so uh, the, 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 this, these are our brothers and sisters in humanity. And what, affect, what would affect them would affect us. This is a pandemic. Would not distinguish between a Muslim and non-Muslim. The virus will not check for our religion or, or, or for our citizenship or whatever. It, it will attack everyone. So when we ask, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to, 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 to clear uh, uh, us uh, from from that that pandemic and to save us all. 
Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. With that, uh, we would, inshallah, end our uh, talk today. Thanks a lot for your time. Jazakallah khair.